Greetings guys, it's Irish here. Sorry I haven't been making some videos, just been bu busy with work and I have actually been using my USB headset for work so I wasn't able to make videos as much as I wanted to uh, while I was working from home. But the last couple of weeks, uh, say two to three weeks, I've actually still stayed on DWM. Uh, after my polybar weirdness, I actually just went back to Exmo Bar with Xmonad and that's been working out fine but I've been really trying to tinker and get DWM blocks working and thanks to one of my subscribers who has joined my discord server um, Tony the Tony Z4 he has actually helped me out and he gave me some tips and I actually discovered what was going on and I will get to that as the video goes along but uh, for those who don't know, DWM Blocks is just a modular uh, status, uh, very similar from what I've gathered, like i3 blocks, where you can have different scripts and then just pipe it into the status bar here. Um, I'll show you what the GitHub page looks like. Uh, it's done by Tor Torin Fail DWM Blocks, so um, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's just a blocks.h and then you can put whatever uh, that you want in there so uh, he has for Arch Linux updates memory volume X or uh, brightness control battery clock and I could not get this to go uh, I did watch a couple of videos from Meshi here and I was trying to get some of his to do it uh, what I like to do when I try tinkering with something, I try to find another config that looks similar to it, more as reference, so I can refer to that. So that's what I did with Meshi's. So if you look at uh, uh, Meshi's stuff here, he's got DWM blocks, and then you could see, oh, one second, uh, blocks H. He's got a lot more. He's got music. Uh, recording, weather, torrents, mailbox. So he's got a bunch of them uh, th there, but I didn't need a whole bunch. Um, so what I did was pretty much followed his guide on his GitHub page here. So what I did, I went to hit the login scripts and create the status bar. So let me show you this. So inside my uh, so if you go cd dot local bin uh, and then cd into status bar, this is where you're gonna put all your scripts. So it could be bash script, Perl script, Python script. So this is where it's gonna sit. And then what you're gonna do is you are going to let me open up another one here. Uh, you're gonna uh, I'll cat this out, but you're gonna put that into your local profile so your path well I'm on ZSH so I'm gonna do Z profile and as you can see here so I put a path uh, in parentheses uh, dollar sign path colon forward slash dollar sign home that's the simplest way but you can put the full path and then dot local slash bin and then path uh, same thing but with status bar you do want to make this executable. One second, please. Sorry about that. So you do want to make these executable, and then inside you want to make these executable too. Now I just want to go into one of these briefly just to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to do my brightness. So as you can see, it's just a regular bash script. Uh, just saying if this then expect like increment 5 you can change this I did uh, steal this from Meshi's configs uh, more for reference again but his was pretty good and that's really what I needed and then what you're gonna do <clears throat> so I only have four he has a lot more but what you're gonna do then is you're gonna create a profile or a uh, a folder called DWM 
So CD DWM blocks. And that's where this is going to sit. What you can do is take this one as a reference. So he did create that. And then what you're going to do is uh, put your scripts that you have inside the blocks.h. And this is what mine looks like. I do have the font awesome here. And then you just say volume, brightness, battery. You can rearrange this as much as you can. And then what you're going to do is there is a particular patch that you will need. It's called the auto start patch. Now this will auto start different programs uh, inside DWM. Other tiling window managers have this. Personally, I like to do it inside the config itself instead of having a separate uh, configuration file like the auto start. But what you're going to do is go back to your our home here. So what you're going to do is create a dot folder. So it's going to cd.dwm. And then here's your auto start script file. So we're going to say vim auto start ssh. So you need to put in that little bash thing. So I have my wallpaper here, which is nitrogen, uh, DWM blocks, Compton Redshift. So to get DWM blocks to work, you just need to put at least DWM blocks in here. You don't need to, you can put whatever else, any other programs you would like to auto start in this particular thing. Make sure you compile and save the auto start patch first. But I, again, I'll put the link to that patch in the description below. And then you run it. So what the issue that I had was with DWM blocks and for whatever reason, I actually had two versions of DWM blocks. I had CD, uh, so I had the regular. Oh, let's go back. So I had the regular DM blocks. And then I actually had one in my dot local slash bin. And that's where it got confused. It kept showing like the, the stock standard status bar on DWM. And I just could not get this to go. My next thing is possibly trying to colorize this. Again, this is basic, um, my basic fonts with my font awesome. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I am actually looking into a another patch. Let's uh, go. Now we're gonna go to the Suckless website to show you what this looks like. It's called a 2D, I believe, a status bar 2D. So what it's going to do is it's going to colorize the status bar. And then also it's going to draw. So this is actually a font awesome uh, icon here. But what in this one is, let me see if I can find it here. But what it's going to do, you can draw a battery very similar to this and it will track how far down it is with your battery life if you do have this on a battery. I swear I saw this somewhere. My apologies. Yeah, here it is, status 2D. So as you can see here, um, it will draw a battery. It can do CPU like bars here. And then you can also, so here's an example, uh, drawing a rectangle with the battery. Uh, you can do foreground color, background color, stuff like this. I may play around with this. I kind of want to see what the diff file looks like. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Um, 
yeah, I might try this, and I'll let you guys know if this works or not. But that's how you get a basic um, DWM blocks. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted because anyone who has actually used DWM, I've seen their bar similar to this, and it looked. I was wondering because the only way that I knew how to do it was through Kai Hendry and his status bar, and I looked at it, couldn't figure out where to put the icon in. So DWM Blocks is an awesome alternative to doing this. Uh, I also may put scratch pads and maybe a, like a, a, a tray in here. I don't know. I may go back to Xmonad, but I am actually really enjoying DWM. It's not too bad. But, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I can start making more videos with you guys now that I have my headset back. And, um, yeah, I do plan on making a... Uh, someone wanted me to show how to do a encrypted slackware on basic bios so no uefi so i might do that next i will try to do it uh, maybe this weekend or early next week if not by wednesday next week but i do plan on making that now that i have um virtual box on here so look out for that <clears throat> and then if you guys have any questions with dwm blocks or are using DWM blocks let me know of another maybe icon set that I can maybe use uh, up here because I've been using font awesome for like the last seven years if that ever since I was on i3 about five years ago so yeah let me know if you guys have any other favorite icons similar to this and I will check those out but hopefully you guys have a good weekend and I will catch you next time